I wish my old partner Snake was here. What was that? That doesn't look good. Dad, burn it. I said Snake. Ah, it's snakes. Deer and breeders of the Lost Ark amid a thousand Ooh. deadly snakes. The Indiana Jones honors a great treasure. Will Harrison Ford escape with his discovery? And what will be your fate? He will. I'm sorry, partners. <laughs> I'm just making this up as I go. Wow. I reckon it's time to state my claim. Now none of you hombres move while I'm fetching that treasure. Listen, you want a belly full of lead. <laughs> but the jewel is guarded by a curse. And those who dare defy that curse must pay with their lives. Outside that you saw as you walked in were done in person here at the Disney MGM Studios on the dates when they dated those cement blocks. Next guy's getting ready. Every single one of our audio animatronic figures is done to precise detail, exacting detail, and were inspected, in some cases, by the stars themselves. Gene Kelly came out to inspect his, and Isabella Rosalini, Ingrid Bergman's granddaughter, brings her children here so they can see their grandmother, Ingrid Bergman, in a scene we'll be seeing soon, Casablanca. Speaking of Gene Kelly, did you know that when he filmed the famous Singing in the Rain scene, he actually had a 103 degree temperature, and they had to add milk to the water to help it show up on the screen. So he was singing in milk. Wow, I didn't know that. I, yes? Look 
looks like we're going to be moving along right now. We'll pick up where we left off in my favorite genre, the horror film. Ooh, look, feel it. We're now entering the jungle home of one of the most beloved characters of all time. No, it's not George of the Jungle. Actually, it's Tarzan. Portrayed here by Johnny Weissmuller. And over there, we have Marino Sullivan as Jane, and the one and only Cheetah as herself. Cheetah! It was a monkey named Cheetah. It's a chimpanzee named Cheetah. And Cheetah, the original Cheetah who filmed the original shows back in 1923, is still alive. She celebrated her 73rd birthday just about a month or two ago. Yes. <laughs> Round of applause for Cheetah. Johnny Weissmuller is probably the best known Tarzan, but he had some tough competition for the title role of his first film. When casting the 1932 version of Tarzan the Ape Man, the producer seriously considered a young unknown actor by the name of Clark Gable. But the future Red Butler lost the role because the director didn't think he was muscular enough. Tarzan's appeared in nearly 50 different film adaptations since 1918, including Disney's 37th animated feature. Where is Tarzan? Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Best last line of a movie ever. Humphrey Bogart and Ingrid Bergman and the classic romance, Casablanca. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow. Rest of your life. Always have passed. I didn't have it. Lost it until you came to Casablanca. Coming back. Speaking of Bogey's famous last words, producer Halby Wallace didn't think of him until three weeks after the production had finished filming. He had to call Bogart back into the studio to record the